sad song. Thank you for showing up with us. connected for longer and the Galaxy Watch with GPS now as well as Wi-Fi and Bluetooth which are pretty similar fitness tracker 39 workout activities water resistant for 5 meters no 50 meters mm. And there we have it. Now, the strap, you can see the color. It's a light tan color. Underneath you've got various sensors. Definitely different to the one I had. So yeah, the watch turns like before. You have textured buttons there, a little bit of grip. The gold's quite a pleasant gold colour. So I've opened the box contents and you get your charger. This is a wireless charger here. Now I'm waiting for the, um, I'm getting the, uh, another charger, duo charger free. It also comes with a spare strap. This is the bottom pit. So if you break any holes, you've got, got the spare. So that's uh, quite good. Let's see if there's any power in this. Hold down. Let's see if there's any power. Hold down that bottom button. Here we've got some power there. Galaxy Watch. Welcome. Okay, to connect to the phone. Well, the phone just popped up with, it's detected a new device. And being Samson, it's obviously kicked in and allowed permission to kind of <laughs> give you that up. And you get a not notification here, so you click the tick. So tick selected. Click OK on a device, on the, on the app. Preparing to connect. It's counting up to 54%, 75%. Almost there. Hopefully this will, this will transfer the new watch faces I downloaded. So you've got this agreement. Um, some of them you can kind of say no. So I'll go find my watch and phone. Mapping technologies, not sure what that is. But yeah, report diagnostics, not really bothered about that. Now before, I can click next. But you have to agree to the that one more thing. So you don't have to tick them all. So now it's doing a restore. Searching for my previous backup data. Searching for backup data for my Samsung account and it said it might take a while. It says I'm all set. I'm all set. Okay. There's some extra little uh, things to click next on. Uh, then it tells me about my watch. 60, it's come 63% charged already. There's 4 gigabytes in total of storage space. 768 megabytes of RAM. There you go. So, and then you can go around choosing watch faces and things. 
which I'm hoping it's transferred the one I had before or last, the one I had last. Uh, allow customization, yes. It wants me to wind. Right. Turn again. Just like, information on what to do, and this is a backup key somewhere right here. That top one's a backup key. This one shows all your apps, which is basically the same as before. And then if you swipe down from the top, you get your options and your settings. Cover the watch with the palm. Try again. Well, at the moment, it's actually got the plastic on it, but it still did it. Okay, let's get out of that. So this is a back button here. It's actually reflecting, it's changing as I turn it, as if it's a real, real, you know, uh, face. It's brilliant. I don't want notifications. So that's how you do the operate. You're swiping left and right to go through your apps. You can customize them and move, you can move these around. That's in settings and then I think you hold your, yeah, if you just hold your finger down for a few seconds, you're in edit mode. So you can take things off. And then in here, hold that down. You then can go through and change your clock faces. So there's a couple of new ones that turned up there and then some of the old ones that were on before. I had something like this last time, but it had big digits across the center. So I could actually read it really easy, but it doesn't seem to have added the uh, old watch. I'll have to basically find my old watch face again and do that. Uh, and you can see the ticking seconds are ticking away on this little thing here. It's, it's nice. It looks nice. It feels Yeah, it feels that feels nice good definitely metal uh, the Watch face this ring also metal I don't know how I got customer services up. There seems to be a couple of extra options on here when I go back so if you've got a Samsung account, you log in, it should generally get all that from your phone and then start giving you updates. So when you get a message on the phone, it pops up on your watch. You can actually, if your phone isn't with you or it's not in reachable distance, you can actually type on here, speak, and it will send your messages. Um, it's pretty good. I actually had uh, someone using my phone or kind of borrowing it. Uh, but I was in the same vehicle as them while they were using it. Uh, but I managed to operate the phone through the watch. So I was actually sending text messages from here to my phone. And then they've been sent obviously via the phone connection and all that. So yeah, so I'm just not sure about the watch strap. I'm sure it's uh, good quality. If you look in the description below, it'll have... Uh, you know, I'll have some more specs on what it's made of. Now it just started throbbing at me there. Maybe it's because I turned it over and it's vibrating. But um, yes, that looks nice. I just think it would have been nice if this watch strap was some sort of different color or I don't know if black would have gone with that. I don't know what cover colors could have done it, but um, it just feels a bit, you know, I don't know about the USA, but this feels like some sort of like plaster color, a bit medical or tan, a bit old and old fashioned. I don't know, but also being rubber would have been nice if it was a bit more leathery. I like the previous strap. Mm -hmm.